This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. There's our gulls. There's a couple of crows there. Um, yeah, they were all sitting here. Look at that on the on the ramp of the shopping center. I had to learn to aim this a little bit better. Uh, there we go. You won't believe it, but as I was getting into the car and the apartment complex, I could hear Seymour all the way over here. I could hear Seymour crying. Oh, look. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all those uh, seagulls lined up on the ramp. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we have, what, one little crow sitting there. Uh, we have crows around. Pigeons. I don't see any sparrows right now. But I'm going to put down that bag of grain after I uh, put down the main food. Let's see. We got a large bag of, of peanuts in the shell for my little crows. Wow. I have not seen our little Mili all day. I put food for him underneath the, uh, the kinder bed, the children's bed, and because uh, he has a nice little basket there underneath there and to keep him uh, you know, warm and cozy. And now he doesn't want to come out at all. And I guess I traumatized him giving him his medicine yesterday actually to make him feel better. And the fact that he's eating a little bit now means he's uh, feeling a little bit better. That's how I interpret that. So, let's pick a new spot here, a little bit closer. Put down the uh, nuts, nice and clean here. And he's looking for clean spots. Always change your spot up. Okay. Clean. Since the birds do have a tendency to bunch together a little bit, uh, we want to keep the area as clean as we can. Um, there we go. So, there we go. I'll put it down here a little further away. We don't have any cat food because there's no cat food to be had. Okay. Okay, Seymour. Let's go over here. Down the sand. All right. That's pretty clean here. All right. Little section here. Still rock solid. Still rock solid. The ground is minus two out here. Get in there, Seymour. Get in there and get your eggs. Get in there. Not as many eggs as this morning. Here we have little Luca there, a little mallard duck. Okay. Can't you find your peanuts, guys? Yeah, they're right over here. See, the gulls cannot get the peanuts. A nice collection of birds here. But it's amazing. The, the uh, seagulls were by my apartment house almost the entire day. And I have a little pair of crows that I feed there. Uh, not uh, on the uh, premises, but across the street, uh, which is legal. And uh, as long as it's not on the property where I live, which I never have done and never would do 
considering what happened uh, two years ago in the other apartment complex. I never did it that either, but I still got thrown out for feeding the birds over here. So, yeah, terrible. Just a, a ter terrible uh, situation. And so unfair and so unjust. I, uh, for me, it's a form of fascism, totally. If you can throw someone out of your apartment for no reason, okay, you don't like the color of the skin, you don't like the way they talk, uh, you don't like their gender, whatever. You can get thrown out here in Switzerland for absolutely no reason, okay? However bad it may be, you cannot, uh, you can get thrown out at any time, right? They don't need a reason here. The power is in the hands of the owner, the landlord, and not the renter. It's quite different in Germany, but it's not that way here in Switzerland. And uh, the people can get very ugly and they can ruin your life and create chaos, which is what, what the bird haters are doing. So, yes. And I, I can't imagine probably that these people that live I don't know, uh, uh, 45 minutes away in the car can tell you what you're doing here, you know, uh, 80 miles away can tell you what you're doing here uh, in your private life and have the power to do that. And obviously some of it is discrimination and some of it uh, has to do with bird hating and, and all of that. So. It's just, it's just unbelievable how the people uh, mix themselves in your private life, right? They want control over you, 100%. For me, that's a form of fascism, totalitarianism, right? I mean, they just, they just want to get total control of you. You have to conform or you're out. Or, or you're out. You cannot live here if you do not conform. And you have to conform 100%. Yeah. Who can live like that? Right? This is not the way it was in Nazi Germany when you either conformed or you were, uh, or you were sent away or put in prison. I mean, isn't that way in Russia under, under Stalin, right? Under communism? If you did not conform to communism, you were sent away to the gulag. I mean, I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. I'm uh, always astounded living most of my life in California uh, where it's pretty much an open society. And here it's so closed, even in these modern times. Even in these modern times, it's so closed. And by the way, I want you all to Google this and, and, and you probably already know that South Korea has banned uh, eating, eating dogs. That has now officially been banned. I think the, uh, it will not take effect until 2027, but it has now been banned. What does that say about Switzerland that still eats its cats and dogs and raises dogs for that purpose and uh, takes people's cats that they let out you know, uh, people believe here, you know, house cat is not a house cat. It, it, it's some sort of animal between wild and domesticated. Hello, a cat is domesticated, okay? It's domesticated cat, which means house cat, all right? Like a dog, right? Dogs should not be chained outside or left to roam around. Why would you do that to your cat? Anyway, um... I'll probably get some negative feedback on that, but that's my stance, okay? That's, that's better for the cat. It's not better to let the cat roam around, get run over, get parasites, get shot. If it's 200 meters away from your property, it's fair game here in Switzerland. And how many cats per get poisoned? What, over 100,000 cats per year? That's, that's what the facts say. Uh, I believe I did a video on that. A number of cats per year, as far as they can tell. 
hundred over a hundred thousand. Think about that. It's crazy, right? Poisoned, killed, shot. So no. They, they belong in the house with you. They're your babies. They're your children. And you should take care of them as such. You wouldn't let your toddler roam around in the elements on the street and so forth. Well, your kitty cat is like a toddler. It's equivalent in intelligence to a toddler, to a two-year-old, and you should not, and your dog as well, you should not let them roaming around, okay? Unintended. They need to be inside with you. Um, where it's safe, where they have food, where they have warmth, where they have love. Anyway, um, yes, Google that. And what's interesting is that a young South Korean said, we uh, do not want to eat our pets because the pets are our family members and we do not want to eat our family members. How well said is that? That is beautiful. And that is exactly what it's all about. So yes, what does that say about Switzerland? I'm sorry for all the Swiss citizens out there who, who do not like birds, but have pets. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should have gathered that 100,000 signatures and put it on the ballot and make it illegal. You are the only country in the EU, okay? Even though you're not part of the EU, but you live within the EU, uh, that eats cats and dogs, that eats